Hi, I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of AndrewsFootball.com. Now, if you watched my last video, you knew that Baltimore was going to cover three points on uh, Thursday night. Uh, this makes me 4-2 and two for the year. Now, I should be 5-0-1, oh, but, but that's okay. That's a different subject. Uh, this gives my record 15-11 and 11 for the year. I forgot about the Week 1 preseason game, so I'm not 14-11. and 11, I'm 15-11. and 11. Uh, That's just under 60%. Uh, for the year, but don't worry, I'm going to go ahead and do everything I can to get above the 60%. That's a personal goal I've set for myself because you deserve better. Now, I'm going to break down the rest of the games for the week and offer my expert analysis, but I want to give a special shout out to my buddy Jesse. Uh, we were having a conversation Thursday night, and he was telling me that, you know, he was like, man, you know, Baltimore is really blowing them out. And I said, you know, yeah, yeah. And he's like, man, I bet on Miami. I said, Jesse. Don't you follow andrewsfootball.com? Don't you watch my videos? No, I don't. I suck. I'm a Raiders fan. Okay. You know what? He didn't say he sucks. But he, but he is a Raiders fan. And I'm going to tell you something. It doesn't matter if you're a Broncos fan, you're a Raiders fan, you're a Chiefs fan, you're a 49ers fan, you're a Patriots fan. I follow all 32 teams. I break every single team down. I break every single game down. There's a comment section on this on this video here. Go ahead and put a comment in there. Do you want me to break down something? I'm more than happy to break down anything for any team. That's why you're here. If you go ahead and you break your leg, do you go to Walmart? No, you go to a hospital. You go see a doctor. You get an expert analysis on what's wrong with you. Come to me. I'm the expert. I know everything about football. I'm here to help you. So let me go ahead and start breaking down these games here. Uh, Minnesota against Cleveland. They're in London. Uh, Minnesota's a nine-and-a-half point favorite. I think they cover that, but what's really a more interesting topic is what's going to happen after this game. Uh, this will make Cleveland 0-8, and, and does Hugh Jackson keep his job? Because, you know, two wins in 24 games, that's, that's really hard to keep your job. I think it's much more likely to either Al Saunders, the offensive assistant, as they technically call him, or Greg Williams, the defensive coordinator, uh, will be promoted to head coach. Uh, I, Al Saunders has some head coaching experience uh, in the 80s. He was the head coach of San Diego Chargers. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent coordinator. He was, a matter of fact, with the Chiefs under Dick Vermeil. A lot of people thought he was actually going to uh, uh, succeed uh, Dick Vermeil, but it ended up, of course, being Herm Edwards. Uh, it's a different topic for a different day. Uh, Greg Williams doesn't have any head coaching experience, but he's an excellent defensive coordinator. Uh, if you remember, he was part of that whole Bounty Gate situation. So uh, I think that kind of prevented him from being a head coach, but I think he deserves it. Uh, I think it's a coin flip that Al Saunders is going to be the head coach. However, if you do replace Hugh Jackson, I, I think you give Greg Williams a shot. Uh, enough on that. I, I don't like this game either way, but if you have to bet on this game, I take Minnesota uh, and nine and a half. Uh, next game is this is an interesting game because uh, Chicago is going to travel down to New Orleans. They're a nine point dog, which I, I think is really off. I, I think Chicago is better. They just uh, traded for Dontrell Inman. I'm not sure how much of a factor he's going to have, but I really like this receiver. I think this is an excellent trade for Chicago. Um, I'm going to go off on a little tangent here, but uh, Chicago um, got a lot of flack uh, for that trade for Trubisky. I, I, if you look at if you look at San Francisco, they haven't won a game yet. Chicago, they look like they have a franchise quarterback, so maybe it ended up being a really good trade. Plus, I, I really like this Dante in, Inman trade. So you give them uh, weapons. You got you got a really young, good quarterback here in Trubisky. I like them to cover nine points. Uh, the money line on this game is three fifty. That's three and a half times. If I was going to bet this game, I would probably do a hundred to cover, and then maybe twenty-five to fifty to go ahead and um, risk and risk that. And the reason why is you have three and a half times. I, I think that's a bad money line. I think it's a bad line. So uh, take Chicago, maybe put a little extra on that money line. Uh, the next game, Jets at Atlanta. Uh, it opened up at five. It jumped all the way to six and a half. Originally, I liked Atlanta. Now it's six and a half. I'm going to go with the Jets. Uh, the Jets have the better defense. Uh, I think Atlanta has a better team. Jets have better defense. I can make a very strong case that Jets have the better running game. I think that may sound a little crazy, but uh, they could. Uh, Steve Sarkeesian, um, I could go on a rant about him. I'm not going to, but I'm just going to say he struggled. So six and a half, 
I, I'm, I'm going to go with the Jets. I think I think they cover that. Uh, let me see here. The next game I got is uh, Tampa Bay. I, I like this one. Tampa Bay is a, a one and a half point favorite at home against Carolina. I think this is kind of a coin flip, but I think this is part where uh, Tampa Bay starts to get things turned around. I think they win this game. Uh, next game is San Francisco is going to travel to Philly. Uh, they're a 12 and a half point dog. I like San Francisco in this game. Now hear me out, because I know what you're going to say. Hey, Dan, you've been saying Philadelphia is the best team in the NFC. You can go West Coast all the way to East Coast. You have all these problems. Why are they? 12 and a half is just too big of a number. Let me explain this. Uh, because I'm a Chiefs fan. Chiefs and the Eagles are very similar. Uh, the Eagles' offense isn't designed to score 30, 40, 50 points a game. They're a ball control offense. Uh, what they're going to do is take a lead. They're going to try to pound the ball. Uh, San Francisco, I, I know they have a lot of flaws and a lot of holes uh, offensively and defensively, but 12.5 is a really big number for a team that really wants to play ball control offense. This game's going to be a lot closer than people think, so uh, take San Francisco 12.5. Uh, next game, uh, again, the East Coast, West Coast thing is uh, Buffalo is uh, hosting Oakland. Uh, Buffalo's a two-and-a-half point favorite. I like Buffalo in this game, and I'll, I'll tell you why. You got the, Buffalo easily has the better defense. You easily have the better running game. Uh, now, of course, Derek Carr, excellent quarterback play. Looked really good last week against Kansas City, but is he enough to travel cross-country and beat Buffalo? I, I, I don't think so, but it's a coin flip game. I, I don't love Buffalo, but I like them to cover two-and-a-half. Uh, next game, Indianapolis uh, travels to Cincinnati. They're a 10.5 point underdog. Uh, Cincinnati's just not a good enough team right now to cover 10.5 and then be comfortable. I, I could go either way. Uh, John Ross may be playing in this game. Um, not sure he's going to have a huge impact, but if he does play and has any sort of an impact whatsoever, they cover. But banking on a guy who's played four plays, uh, it, it's not enough. Cincinnati's not a good enough team to count, to count on ten and a half. I think it's a lot closer of a game than people think. Uh, next game, Houston travels Seattle. They're a six and a half point dog. I like Houston in this game. I, I think this, this, this to me, has a 17-14, 20-17 feel. I, I could see Houston winning this game. I wouldn't bank on it, but uh, six and a half, I could see them covering that. Now, this next game, I'm going to talk a little more because I, I got several people that are uh, Dallas Cowboy fans. And I think every game this week I've picked against them, I'm, I'm picking Dallas this week. I really like Dallas. They're a two-point two, two favorite at Washington, and they match up really, really good with Washington. I'm, I would probably, eh, maybe, I would. out of all the games, I, I like this one probably the most because... Two points is, is a small line. Always take better team. Dallas has the better team. Uh, the Redskins and the Cowboys, they really match up very well because what Washington's going to do is put seven and eight in a box. And I think I think even though that Washington does this, I think Dallas will still be able to run the ball. Uh, sneaking suspicion that Dak Prescott's going to have a big day. When I say big day, I'm not talking huge numbers, but I could see him doing something like 19 out of 24, 225 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, this could be a game Dallas wins big. Uh, so I, I really like Dallas in this game. So you Cowboys fans, come on, man, follow on. Go ahead and subscribe here. This is your chance because I'm picking the boys. Uh, next game, Sunday night football. Detroit's a, a three-point underdog at home against Pittsburgh. Uh, this, this is a complete coin flip game to me, but I, I like Detroit. I think the teams are about even, so you get three points, take the home teams. You got home dog. I think both teams are about even, so uh, I go ahead and pick Detroit. And this next game, Monday night, Denver's a uh, started out seven and a half point underdog. Now they're seven. For the first time ever, for the very, very first time ever, I'm picking against Kansas City. I would take Denver in the points here. Uh, th this game is is going to be a close game. I I know Denver's lost two straight. I know on Christmas they got blown out. But uh, th this is the game. I think the, I think last week they just weren't ready. They were going to be ready. They're going to be amped. And uh, there's there's some holes in Kansas City. Uh, you got divisional rivals. Denver, believe it or not, is a better defense. Division rivals. 
Uh, Kansas City, of course, has better offense, has better running game. Jamal Charles, what does he do? Does he have a big game? Do they give him some more carries? I'm not sure, but as much as it pains me to say this, I would take Denver and seven points in this game. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You know, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It doesn't do anything. Here's how easy it is. Boom, you hit the button, and there you go. And don't forget, you can always follow me on www.andrewsfootball.com. Again, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything at all, I am here to help you. So go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and follow me at www.andrewsfootball.com, and wait till next time.